Good morning. It is Thursday, September 22nd here on Lifestyle Live. I am joined by Stephanie Sanders, the COO of the Moselle Sanders Foundation, and Amora Scott, a volunteer. And we're doing a taste test fundraiser? That's correct. Yes. And uh, the stuff's going to be hot, right? Voila, it's going to be hot. The oh. Jose Mango. All right. We're all, we're all set. And look who's back from vacation. <laughs> Hey, I'm so glad you came back. You decided to come back. I decided to come back? You, you decided to come back. I decided to come yeah. back? <laughs> what? Huh? I can't hear anything. Hey, so. guess what we have in studio today? I have no idea. A mind reader. Seriously? He's going to read our Hi, minds. George. Hey, George. Hey. His name is Alex <laughs> McAleer. He is set to perform at the upcoming Champions of Magic show at Old National Center in November. Huh. But first, he is here today to share some life style magic. Cool. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm glad <laughs> this guy's there. a real deal, so this will be fun. Yeah, and you got to ask him some questions. Like, yeah, I was going to say, what are you going to ask him? What kind of a winter we're going to have, you know, things like that. If we can <laughs> see the future or whatever. We so, shall uh, see. Yeah. Hey, also coming up this morning, what's on stages that is worth your hard-earned dollars? That is the question. Our very own Tom Alvarez is going on the aisle to let us know. See who's performing, who's doing their thing. That guy's performing. What you want to go see? Herb Albert. Herb Albert. Herb Albert's performing tonight in Carmel. I'm oh, so fantastic. jazzed about this. He's been around for a few years. Yeah, he yeah, is 87 yeah. years old. Right wow. Now. How old? He's 87. Oh my. 87. I'm still getting know. after it. Yeah. Wow. 87. 87. I'm not quite there yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not <laughs> <That> far. <laughs> but hey, you were gone for like 10 days, which was awesome for you, but also celebrating, what did you say, an anniversary? Yeah, it was our 40th wedding anniversary. Oh, so, but, but that was a year and a half ago. Right. COVID so kind of pushed put everything, everything back. Yeah, we can't go. We can't go. But we finally went with another couple yeah. who got married a few months before we did. Aww. My wife's best friend. So we just flew out so to nice. Denver, rented a car, and just drove yeah. through uh, uh Colorado, Wyoming here. And we drove fast, apparently. Yeah, huh? <laughs> that's a minimum yeah. speed out there. That's in Wyoming. Oh, 80 nice. miles an hour. I mean, you can get that baby cranked up to Were 90. Were you driving? Huh? Were you running and gunning? Huh? Yes, I was. <laughs> I won't tell you how fast I was going. Oh, so. Look at that. Is that a bison? That, that, no, that, that is a, a, a bull moose. Okay. A bull oh, okay. Moose. Real, real quick, guys. My wife has always wanted to see a bull moose. That, she's never seen one. So the day that she went shopping with her friend, I went out with her husband. We saw the bull moose, and they oh, weren't there. Oh, of course. But we went back afterwards, and the bull moose was still there. Well, so she got to see her bull moose, and she was happy. One thing. Oh, look! I saw this one on your Facebook page. Yeah, I figured page. you guys would like it. Was that this? One. Did you have them bring this in for you? Since it was a liar's bed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would fit my <laughs> profession. You know, everybody said, "Who's yeah. telling the truth?" So yeah. Uh, oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Yeah, that's the uh, the largest. Um, uh, what do you call it? Locomotive ever? Oh. The uh, steam engine. Oh. I said, and I I grabbed this picture off your. Facebook page, oh. and the reason I did is because, believe it or not, that is a Malay locomotive. Seriously, it's got the uh, and the, the trucks underneath move in order for it to go around a curve. That's and there cool. was some French engineer, yeah. so I said, "Well, that's and cool. then Let's throw that one in." We've got this big guy. Yeah, okay. Bison, bison, they're all over. I mean, they're just hanging out in the road. That's that's their thing. They that's go where they want to go, and he came yeah. after the car, and I rolled the window up. I just didn't want to get spit on or whatever. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is well, so awesome. That is awesome. super really cool. Is. And if people want to see more, obviously, you've, you've posted them on your Facebook page. But it inspired our question of the day today, brought to you by Kitchen Saver Custom Cabinet Renewal, because we want to know, for other people out there, what is the best vacation You've ever taken? Would this be on one of the on the yeah, top of your list? When we went to Israel a few years ago. Yeah, I remember that was you said that special, one. Really, so. Yeah. Well, Susan kicks things off. She says going to the Smoky Mountains with my husband and watching the joy he huh. had experiencing it for the first time, as I had been many times. And loved it. That's so nice. Oh, very nice. And look, look, Randy, oh. this oh, is yeah. a, a kindred spirit. Debbie says, Israel, love Israel. 
didn't want to leave. Yeah, I'm with you, Debbie. Absolutely. Aww. Linda says our trip to Ireland, oh, it was yeah. magical. That'd be that cool. I'd like to go to good. Ireland, too. Would you pay to send us over there? No, <laughs> I wouldn't. We're, we're, try, we're trying to work a deal where we yeah. take Lifestyle Live That's... on the road. Yeah. Uh, and, and we go places like Ireland on, yeah. on the expense account. I yeah, really it's... think we should do that. Our bosses yeah. should be listening yeah. because yeah. we could go sample all kinds of food. Oh, absolutely. We could learn what the music is like there. Yeah. We could talk fashion. Yeah. I mean, it's a whole Lifestyle Live show I think it's a great in idea. Ireland. So yeah. I tell you what. George, you go in first to the boss's yes. office okay. here, and okay. Amber and I will back you up. Okay. Yes, we'll say we concur, yeah. right? Yeah. We concur. Okay, I'm going to head on over to the kitchen. Who wants to come with me? I think I'm. I'm I think it's you, Randy yeah, Alice. I, I get to go today. But no, I'll, I'll make no. room for you all. George, okay. you can come Thank here you, in just a little bit, Thank but you, we George. are talking with Stephanie yes. and Amora. Hello, yeah. lovely ladies oh, with the Moses Leaders Foundation. I love your outfit. You guys, you all look so good. Oh, yeah, she's on a little. They look professional. Who knew we would have fashion? In the kitchen. Well, competition today, right? here, you know. <laughs> competition, Amber. Well, you ladies look lovely. Thank you so much. We were talking before fundraisers, taste tests, all for a really great cause. So tell me what's happening. Where do we begin? 50 yes, years go ago, ahead. or are we going to bring you up to date? Uh, my uh, father in law was Moselle Sanders. I mean, that's amazing. Yes, yes absolutely. and he was an excellent chef. Yeah. Famous for cooking barbecue. Thus, we have the Moselle Sanders barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce. sauce. Good, the good, good. barbecue sauce. And uh, he also, um, well, you know, feed the hungry. That's yeah. a passion. Don't look Big down passion. on the man unless you're trying to pick him up. Oh, I sure. love that <laughs> line. If yeah. each one would feed one, everyone would be fed. Yeah. And that's, that's what he's known for. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's known for that. So yeah. we're, we're taking on it. And she is not just a volunteer. She is the barbecue sauce coordinator and Ooh. on our planning committee. How do you like that yeah. title, barbecue I, sauce I love coordinator? It. 